before the packed pews of his Sydney congregation. Bishop Mar Marie Emmanuel stood steadfast in faith, though weakened in the body, clad in ornate black and gold robes. The Assyrian bishop's usual warm smile was replaced by a solemn grimace as he faced parishioners, wearing a plain white eye patch over his right eye socket. For weeks since the brutal attack, which saw him take damage to his face mid-sermon, the 53-year-old clergyman had hidden the full extent of his injuries from public view. But on this Palm Sunday, in the Assyrian Christian calendar, which is different from the Catholic calendar, Emmanuel felt compelled to openly acknowledge the severe wound and its sobering aftermath amongst those he shepherded. During one of his sermons delivered in Arabic, Bishop Emmanuel courageously addressed his eye injury from the attack. While the wound was a constant physical reminder of the violence inflicted, he chose to see it as a sacrifice made out of love rather than hatred. The bishop expressed viewing his impaired vision as a gesture extended to the Muslim community seemingly hoping it could foster greater understanding between faith. Bishop Emmanuel centered his Palm Sunday sermon around 1 Corinthians 13 verse 8, Love never fails. With compassion, he directly addressed his attacker. You are my son and will always be my son. I will always pray for you and wish you nothing but the best. The bishop conveyed genuine forgiveness from his heart. You are my son. The Lord knows I mean this. In the name of Jesus, I forgive you. He acknowledged the mercy extended was far greater than deserved, praying it would be accepted by God. Though suffering loss through the attack, Emmanuel saw forgiveness, not vengeance, as the highest manifestation of his faith. Inspired by Christ to redeem evil with good, he offered unconditional love and reconciliation a priceless gift surpassing the violence inflicted upon his body. Through leading by this example, the bishop imparted a message of healing more potent than any physical wounds imposed. During his sermon, Bishop Emmanuel also weighed in on the contentious issue of freedom of expression from the attack. The government and a major social media platform had been embroiled in a legal dispute over demands to remove video footage from the live-streamed service showing the stabbing as it occurred. Speaking directly to elected leaders, Emmanuel affirmed that every person, regardless of faith or belief, deserves the right to express themselves freely. He stated that Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims, atheists, and Christians alike must all be able to share their ideals without censorship or threats to their safety. The bishop emphasized the importance of civil debate and criticism within a democratic society even on sensitive topics, as a sign of intellectual maturity rather than the reason for persecution or legal overreach that can undermine societal liberties. The bishop struggled to understand restrictions on freedom of speech within democratic societies. He questioned how a pillar of liberal democracy could be deemed too dangerous when open discourse and diverse viewpoints are hallmarks of engaged intellectual citizens. Emmanuel believed civilized peoples must be able to respectfully critique and debate even potentially offensive ideas without fear of threats or censorship from government overreach. To emphasize his point, he stated that non-Christians could openly criticize or condemn his faith and would respond with no retaliation other than a prayer for God's forgiveness and blessing upon them.